some amazing video there, Sine. Well, nobody wants to see this, a boot on the wheel of your car. What's even worse, some companies are charging vehicle owners as much as $500 to get them off. Now some attorneys have filed a lawsuit questioning whether or not booting is even legal. Fox has Morse Diggs joins us now live with that story tonight. Morse? Well, I just got a briefing from the lawyers and they tell me that two things are taking place around Georgia. There are some cities where there's no ordinance, so booting companies are popping up and charging what they want. There are other cities where there is a ordinance in place and yet uh, the booters are just going around and not obeying all the rules. These days, in many parking lots around the metro, there will be signs warning about booting if you exit the premises without your vehicle. Some take a chance, weighing convenience or perhaps saving a few dollars on a parking fee versus the chance of getting caught. Given what some cities allow booters to charge, you may want to rethink the gamble. It was $500 per truck, period. $1,000 to get these two trucks back. I was shocked. We. I felt like I'd been robbed that day, to be honest with you. Two of Alan Tuar's crews were in Union City recently. They parked to get lunch, but they left the vehicles in the adjacent lot, which is separate. The two trucks and the loads for a couple of families were also stalled in place. Attorney Matt Weatherington is challenging the business with a lawsuit. He says booting may be illegal because state law allows for towing, but says nothing about booting. Also, he believes he can mount a challenge even in cities like Union City that have local laws. Now, in certain communities, there are booting ordinances and they lay, lay out in detail. If you're going to take that extreme step of depriving a person of their personal property, you've got to do certain things. And in time after time after time, these booting companies are not following the rules. We also talked to a booter. He has this perspective. We don't boot truckers that come in and shop within the plaza or, or on the property. The problem is sometimes they park on this property and they go to Walmart or they go to Popeyes or they go to Captain D's and that's like uh, your friends coming to my house and parking in my driveway and then walking across the street. Twar called the firm. He's ready to be part of a class action claim. My hope is that we can somehow band together and stop this from happening to other people. Um, I absolutely think something should be done about it. Now, Tuar says on that day, his employees called the Union City Police out to that parking lot. They were told there's nothing they could do about it. Uh, here in Atlanta, I imagine some of you have been in that predicament and have gotten the same answer from Atlanta police. An Atlanta police officer will go to a lot and he will tell you, he or she, that it is a civil matter. Reporting live from Buckhead, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News.